The population of India in 2010 was 1.21 billion. The population grows at a rate of 1.44% per year. We want to write an exponential function to model the population and also predict the population in 2025. To model this population growth, we're going to use the exponential function in this form here, f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x, where the base b is equal to 1 plus r, where r is the growth rate expressed as a decimal. a is equal to the initial amount, or in this case, the initial population. And because our function will be in terms of time, the exponent x would be the number of years after the base year. I do want to point out that for this problem, we're not told this growth rate is a continuous growth rate, and that's why we're using this exponential function rather than the exponential function with base e that we use for continuous growth. Just to illustrate that this population is exponential, here's the graph of the population of India over time. And you can see from the graph, an exponential function is an excellent model to model this population growth. Okay, so going back to our problem, because our function represents the population of India, we're going to write a function p in terms of t, where t is going to be the number of years after the year 2010. Again, a is the initial amount, or in this case, the initial population. So that'll be 1.21 billion. Our base is going to be 1 plus the annual growth rate expressed as a decimal. So right now we have r equals 1.44%. As a decimal, that would be 0 0.0144. So we have 1 plus 0 0.0144 raised to the power of t. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have p of t equals 1.21 times 1.0144 raised to the power of t. So p of t will be the population, and t will be the number of years after our base year of 2010. So here's the function that we can use to model the population of India. And to predict the population in the year 2025, we need to determine what value of t to use. t is not going to be equal to 2025 because t equals zero represents the base year of 2010. So for the year 2025, t is going to equal 2025 minus the base year of 2010. So t is equal to 15. So we'll use t equals 15 to predict the population in the year 2025. Now we'll go to the calculator. So we have 1.21 times 1.0144 raised to the 15th power. So if we round this to two decimal places, we can say that the population will be approximately 1.50 billion. To give you an idea what this means, in 2010 the population was 1.21 billion. So this model predicts the population to grow almost 300 million over this 15 year span. And the population of the United States today is about 310 million, which means according to this model, over this 15 year span, the population of India will increase about the same size that the United States is today. And that's going to do it for this example. Thank you for watching.